I'm excited to finally be revealing this project. I feel like it's been a long time coming, so it's nice that we can finally put it out in the world. This is actually the second time that I've collaborated with ASICS now, which is really exciting and another really lovely handmade project. Um, and it's really lovely to be partnering with Foot Patrol as well, especially for your 20 year anniversary. I think Foot Patrol is such a kind of statement of the streetwear scene in London. And what we do is streetwear adjacent, I would say. So it's really nice to work together on this project and of course work with the amazing ASIC silhouettes as well to bring our vision to life. I obviously was very keen to work with end of line products like dead stock silhouettes. So that was the first point of call from ASIC side and they kind of came back with these mismatched silhouettes. And so when I started to see all these unusual silhouettes partnered together, it reminded me instantly of like a yard sale or garage sale. And there's all these unusual sneakers and you kind of have to dig to find your perfect sneakers. And that's basically what we were doing by picking out all the leftovers essentially from the ASICS stock that they had available. So that was my first instinct. I was like, there's gotta be something here to do with like, just collaging everything together. It fits definitely with my aesthetic. And because we were working with Foot Patrol with the 20 years, we're like, let's do 20 pairs. So that was really the starting point. We've got 20 pairs, we've got unusual mix of silhouettes, and somehow we need to make them all live together in one design language. So I was thinking of my previous project I did with ASICS, and when working with them, for our previous collaboration, we actually cut away a lot of the logo and we cut away a lot of the pieces of the shoe. So we had loads of scraps still in the studio. So I was like, okay, we've got all these little bits of ASIC scraps. We've got 20 shoes. We've got unusual silhouettes. And that was really the starting point for me. So I really wanted to think about how we could collage all these scraps together and make these really kind of eclectic feeling sneakers where everything feels unique, everything's bespoke, they're all different, they all have their own unique language, but they all work together in a little family. I think the first thing when we were looking at all the different silhouettes, we were like, how can I create some continuity between the pairs? So I really wanted to create these patchwork logos that we could apply to every single silhouette that would all have their own unique feeling. And then also when studying the silhouettes, I realized they all had in some capacity a kind of enclosed toe box. So again, I was like, that's a really nice way that we can create this continuity with this patchwork. So the first thing we did was create these massive sheets of all tiny little ASIC scraps, anything from the studio that was ASICS related, mesh linings, tongue linings, any logos, any particular pieces. We made these big sheets sort of collage scraps basically and then we used those to fill in all the toe boxes of all the pairs and then a similar thing for the side really so we had to make sure that each pattern for the logo fit with the silhouette of the sneakers so you can see there's different um, patterns depending on the silhouette of the shoe and the component the shapes of the components that was really what we what we started to doing and we started to build these really beautiful collaged logos and actually all the sneakers have the center piece of the ASICS logo. From our last collaboration we'd cut off the logo from the medial side and then stuck it all back on for this one so nothing was wasted which is really nice and obviously something that I care a lot about when I'm working on these projects. For the Prelius again we wanted to add our blanket stitch detail which we add on pretty much all our handmade collaborations in-house to add a really nice feeling of craft, feeling of handmadeness, and it also is a practical solution to how to actually fix the patches on. I think because we were dealing with five different silhouettes, we really had to find out a way to create continuity, and sometimes it became challenging. So, for example, 
the our embroidered sail patches, which we really loved and we thought they really gave you this garage sale feeling and also times 20 because there's only 20 unique pairs you know that exist so we really wanted to emulate that and of course the 20 years of foot patrol so we wanted to put those on every tongue but obviously the gel light 3 doesn't actually have a tongue so that definitely threw a bit of a spanner in the works when we were trying to work out where to attach it so on the gel light 3 you've still got your detail here but she's a little bit more discreet which is really really nice and actually works really well for this model as well i feel like the gel light 3 is the is the neatest and i think that probably works for the asics fans as well the, um, kind of cleanness of this silhouette probably one of the most clean silhouettes that i've ever done but luckily i managed to get a little bit of mess in the end there just how i like it so when we were attaching the heel collaboration label on the back there, because of, again, all the silhouettes are quite different, you've got different thicknesses, you've got different materials there, different leather, different hardnesses. So that proved a little bit of a challenge between the silhouettes to just get that feeling. And I really wanted this sort of feeling that you could almost just like rip it off like a sail tag. So yeah, there was definitely some challenges with, when working with the different silhouettes. <laughs> For all my pieces that I create, it's always really important to me that it functions as a shoe because it has to, as much as I consider myself and the work that I do art, it also is design and product and it has to function. So that's always really, really important and kind of the crux of what we create. So for these silhouettes, we wanted to keep the actual base silhouette as much intact as possible. So we didn't want to alter the sole, we didn't want to unpick or take away too much of the shoe because we didn't want to challenge the integrity of the shoe by taking away too much. So for this project, it was really like an additive formula, I suppose. So we wanted to make sure that we could still get the feeling across, get our very collage, very spontaneous, get the energy of what we create always within the studio across in each silhouette, but actually keep the wearability totally intact. So all the patches, you know, are stitched on on the machine as well. So they're all secured in place and everything we wanted to make sure, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall apart. I think for me, I wanted to create a design language that was kind of clear from a distance. I think with this sort of project and especially with creating collage materials, you know, we're using a lot of colors, we're using a lot of materials. Um, so each pair does have its own personality and its own kind of individuality. So I really wanted to have some key details that stayed the same across all the silhouettes, just so they didn't feel like they were too much on an island on their own. So really simple, like zigzagging down the insole, the heel counter patch, just keeping those, like the thread colors. For this project, we've kept all the thread color the same, which usually is one of the things that I alter a lot, but because the silhouettes were all different and the patches were all different, I was like, we need to keep something the same. Otherwise, you know, people aren't gonna even be able to see that it's all part of the same collection. So yeah, we wanted to keep this neon pink thread across our ASICS logo and also our neon blanket stitch around the toe and then our orange collaboration on the back. Obviously between all the silhouettes, we had all these different laces and some are mixed and some are the same. So like the Gel Light 3 has the pre laces. This is the Gel Light 3 laces. So they're all sort of like mismatched around and mixed together, which I love as well because when I am working with shoes from recycling centers or end of life products, there's always this feeling of this journey and how everything is related to each other. So, you know, somebody might get the Gel Light 3, but then somebody gets the shoe with the laces from the Gel Light 3. So all these shoes are kind of intertwined together in this network. Um, and actually saying that, the one of one pair that we created for the Blueprint exhibition, all the offcuts from that shoe that we created are also scattered in all the pairs. So like, for example, you can see here this like mustard suede that's you'll see that in the sneaker that's in the Blueprint exhibition. So across all the pairs, there's little details scattered of that silhouette as well. So it's, I think I'm always thinking about the personality of shoes and like how we can get that feeling across where everything is kind of connected to each other. I think it was definitely important to keep some of those features, keep the continuity between some of those features 
and then also with our patches on the tongue as well we have three colorways so they're mixed randomly between the silhouettes so we haven't got for example all pink on these or all yellow on these it's they're all mixed randomly so again giving people that feeling of uniqueness or individuality i think with my work and with what we do in the studio it's always how can i give someone the feeling of something completely bespoke and one of one you know the only shoe to exist in the world but it still lives in this family in this collection so that's what we try to do <laughs> I think for the next generation, for anyone that's interested in following their crea own creative path or something that they love to do, the more yourself you are and the more you put your own personality into whatever you create, the more people will connect with you. It's taken me a long time to realise that, so I think that's uh, my words of wisdom.